What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. And today we're gonna to be talking about my fire kit. This is an updated video. I did a fire kit video like my first year of doing YouTube and a lot has changed since then. I know you guys like to see update of gear so I wanted to go over that. Um, anyhow, one thing that's changed is that, that bird's going crazy, but anyhow, uh, one thing that's changed, I've changed the bag. Um, I did have an OD green bag, but I want everything uh, survival related, super bright so I can find it. Labeled so other people if, if I get injured, they can find it and uh, you know know what it is. So that's one major difference. I want to be able to find it. And you'll notice everything in here is bright as well because I want to be able to find it if I drop it on the ground. Now this is something I just throw on like my hiking or camping pack that I take with me. And it's, you know, normal fire start stuff as well as emergency gear. But we'll uh, start off with my fire making materials first, like my fire starters. Um, obviously big lighter everybody knows that I'm a huge fan of that and this is an exotec fire sleeve um, I love the exotec fire sleeve but pretty much it makes the big lighter indestructible and I also have 550 fire cord as a lanyard so I can lanyard this onto my belt loop and put it in my pocket if I want to do that um, but it keeps it waterproof and I have tinder here also so next thing I got a Piezo big lighter, electric. You've seen uh, a video on this that works even if you dunk it in water, pull it out, it immediately lights. So that's a good benefit of having this as well. So two lighters. Next thing, a lot of you guys probably have seen that me use this a million times. This is a um, gob, uh, gob spark, uh, firesteel.com, fire uh, starter. What I like is that it's got a big handle scraper so if I'm cold you know it's gross motor skills I can get a fire started I'm you know I occasionally use my knife spine to uh, start a fire but I think that you should use the right tool for the job a lot of people say that every time I baton with an axe somebody, uh, with a knife somebody says I need to use the right tool for a job use an axe but then they'll use their knife as a ferro rod striker use the right tool for a job you should never use a tool that you don't need to use, especially your most critical tool like a survival knife. You should never take it out of your sheath unless it's used to being cut, what it's designed to do. So that's my opinion on that. Um, but that's why I like a ferro rod striker. Um, gross motor skills, you know, doesn't take a lot. This protects it. It's bright orange. If I drop it, I'll find it. And I also have 550 fire cord in here as well. And also a little light, cord light, so I can use this to see what I'm doing if I'm trying to start a fire at night. The next thing I have is the spark light um, fire starter. This is a one hand, it's got a bunch of the tender quick tabs in there, but one hand in case I get injured, I can use this. So um, good piece of gear. I've always been a big fan of this uh, military fire starter here as well. Bright orange, I can see it now. I think it has eight tenders or 10 tenders in there. Next thing is, I'm not a huge fan of matches, but these matches are the best matches. Um, UCO brand, um, windproof, waterproof, uh, pretty much will light under any condition. Orange container, has extra striking pads in there. I drop it, I'll find it. Uh, I have a few fast fire tenders. I've got a video, I'll put links to all these different videos that we've done of this gear before that you can go see. Um, even the old fire uh, kit video, but Fast Fire is great, made by Sokoa. I'm a big fan of their products, but this is a good cube of uh, tin, uh, tinder material. You can use all of it, part of it, or whatnot, and it lasts about eight minutes burn time. Next thing is Mini Inferno by Dave Canterbury, and it comes in this tin you can use for to make char cloth. This stuff is absolute awesome fire starter. Uh, I really do like it and works well and it's waterproof. So, and it comes in this tin that I can make char cloth out of. I also have an Exotac small candle in this tin. It's super hot where I live at, so I don't like to have loose candles in my stuff. It'll melt and, and ruin everything in the kit, but it's a small tin style uh, beeswax candle, four hour emergency candle. So I can use this in a real wet environment or cold environment. And the absolute last thing I have is a Fresnel lens using the sun to start fire. That'd be my very last option on the planet, um, but it's there, it doesn't you know, weigh much, so I have it in the kit. 
But you can see here, got uh, plenty of ways to make fire. Um, if you can't make fire with this, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to make fire with gas in a road flare either. So, uh, but you know, I carry this in case, like I said, I do get hurt. People that don't know how to use ferro rods, they can use this, you know, lighter uh, to make fire matches. That's why I carry that. I don't necessarily use the matches. I do use the lighters, but you know, just in case somebody else is with me and, and that if I get hurt, um, they can use this kit. They can find this Moving kit. Moving on to my knife. This is a knife that I carry a lot. This is a GSO-5 and a uh, very good knife. I carry it all the time. I got a custom Sagewood gear sheath. Sagewood gear is the best sheath makers on the planet by, not, by uh, bar none. Um, on this sheath, I carry a, a fire steel, and this is a fire steel that I usually don't ever use. I keep this one you know, for emergency uses. And uh, this is a custom sheath, like I said, made by Sagewood, and he makes a pocket here. And basically, I, I got emergency gear in here as well. So all I got is my knife. Uh, you know, I got uh, pretty much uh, a lot of different bases covered just by having my knife with me. But in here I have a tin, and inside the tin I got a large needle, a small button compass, fishing kit from Wazoo Survival gear, uh, and a fishing line, a spider wire, and a sealed up package just like that as well. Um, and I got some waxed cordage to go with the needle and a roll of flagging tape so I mark my trail. Now, moving on, why, why is that important about the fire? We got the ferro rod here. We have ranger bands. I've got a video on that and I'll put that below. Like I said, I'll put videos of all this stuff, links below so you can watch all these videos. Um, and then I got aluminum full fire nuggets. These are just, uh, I got a video showing how to make these and basically it's just petroleum covered cotton balls wrapped in aluminum foil and you put an X, pull out just a little bit of wicking material and this will burn for almost an hour. And I got a few of those in there. So got a, a few different things to start fire just on my you know, belt sheath. And this is emergency gear, like I said. If I get lost, I can flag, start fire, catch some fish, gross navigation with the compass and make gear repairs. Anyhow guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what's in your fire kit. And thanks for watching Black Scout Survival.